The Spanish artist Maria Blanchard painted still life with red lamp between 1916 and 1918, and it's an excellent example of her highly expressive and boldly colored figurative cubist works. Blanchard was born with a disfigured back that caused her physical and emotional pain. Painting helped her escape and express her sadness. Her compositions reveal poignant connections to her life, and her style positioned her among the top of the early 20th century avant-garde. In 1909, she won a grant to attend the Académie Vitti in Paris, where she met the painter Juan Gris and was introduced to the work of Picasso, Liebschitz, Braque, and others. She adopted the Cubist style in favor of pictorial representation. Cubism breaks down, analyzes, and reassembles objects in an abstract but recognizable form. At the time, the style was transforming European painting and sculpture, and it became the most influential art movement of the 20th century. Still Life with Red Lamp depicts the fragmented object in thickly painted, interlocking geometric shapes. With Greece mentorship and companionship, and the help of dealer Leonce Rosenberg, Blanchard found commercial success with demand for her work peaking in the wake of the 1929 Salon des Independants exhibition in Paris. Still Life with Red Lamp has hung since the early 1960s in the California home of Blanchard's niece, who lived with the artist in Paris until Blanchard died in 1932. Museum Ludwig in Cologne, Germany has a similar Blanchard painting in its permanent collection. Blanchard's works also appear in the collections of the Museo Nacional Centro de Arte Reina Sofia in Madrid, Caixa Galicia Foundation in Vigo, Spain, Hood Museum of Art in New Hampshire, and the Courtauld Institute of Art in London.